In case you were wondering out there, yes, you do indeed have a friend in me. As the famous song from Toy Story would say, and that is a poor excuse for an intro to this video showcasing the Toy Story Minecraft mashup pack that's available for you to download right now. My name is Brian Saviano, aka Bricks O'Brien, and oh boy, we're in Andy's room from the iconic Toy Story series, obviously, to uh, initiate the release of Toy Story 4. That's why this uh, is a thing. Features, I think, things from all of the games. So, it's going to be uh, a good time. And before we even get into Andy's room and what's inside of here and what is around the entire uh, map, I'm going to just dive into the skins that you get with this pack, which are super cool. Uh, this Bricks O'Brien skin was made by Super Pizza Man. So, uh, shout out to him, good friend of mine, who uh, made this Bricks O'Brien skin after I lost the one that I created months ago. So, with the Toy Story mashup pack, you get the characters that you would think you'd get in the mashup pack. If I can just find it right here. I'm scrolling on through, there's obviously so many uh, skin packs that you can download. Boom, here it is right here. So, you get all of these uh, included in the mashup pack that you get for a couple uh, thousand uh, coins here. I'm actually going to move my... Uh, uh, giant head down here or over here rather just so you can or up here you know what, up here yeah that's fine just so you can see what's going on uh down there i'll move myself back afterwards so uh nope that is woody right here pretty uh awesome looking skin highly detailed uh they all kind of mash up scale wise to each other too because buzz lightyear is a bit shorter than uh woody but uh very nice high quality uh outfits you got here i like them uh here's jesse obviously and uh, by the way for each of the sections we go to it's going to be from all the Toy Story movies so if you haven't seen Toy Story 4 uh, I guess I'll be talking about that just a little bit so spoilers I guess eventually when we encounter the areas here so uh, this is a uh, Bo Peep two versions of Bo Peep this one is from Toy Story 4 where she's like forget this dress I need to be able to maneuver all around a carnival so there you go now we have the not-humanoid characters. Ooh, we have all of them, actually. Uh, the not-humanoid characters, kind of. T-Rex, obviously, or Rex, rather, from the series there. Got a little bit of a belly. Uh, looking as much like a dinosaur as a dinosaur can, while in Minecraft human form, Sarge of the Green Army Men that came in a bucket, like, years ago. I remember playing with the ones that my grandfather had, so... Uh, these guys are always pretty cool. The claw, little green men here, three eyes, and these are they're so short. Actually, they're taller than Sarge, just by a little bit. Next, Emperor Zerg, a awesome-looking villain that I think was entirely underutilized throughout Toy Story. Such a cool-looking villain. Uh, he's kind of the Darth Vader of the Toy Story world. You know what? That's okay by me. And you have Stinky Pete from Toy Story 2. I haven't seen Toy Story 2 in a thousand years, so I forget uh, what exactly he says in the movie. I just know he's a bad guy. I remember that much, so credit me where credit is due. Wheezy, obviously a penguin, adorable. Uh, I wonder how he walks around waddles. That'd be kind of interesting to see. Obviously, Wheeze is a ton. This is Rocky Gibraltar, so not as familiar with him. I know he's in Toy Story 1, maybe 2. I'm not quite sure. But now we're getting into Toy Story 3 and 4 characters. Mr. Pricklepants, a porcupine that Bonnie has. So uh, is part of a new crew of toys that are inducted in Toy Story 3. We have Dolly, very awesome character in Toy Story 3. Kind of taking charge of uh, Woody and the gang when uh, they appear in uh, Bonnie's toy room. Big baby. That's a big baby. It, obviously in the daycare center that you can uh, play as. It's a big old baby. Tall baby. Big baby. And you have uh, this guy, Chuckles the Clown, with the traumatic backstory involving uh, Lotso, who is noticeably absent from this thing. Interesting. Lotso is the only one, I think, of the villains that's not here. So there you go. Chuckles the Clown is present. And the infamous, well, famous, I, should, I guess. I don't know. Uh, uh, online Lego creator, a.k.a. Twitch. Here he is, right here. Uh, one of the villains, a part of Toy Story 3, that's like looking out, you know, guarding everything there. Uh, this is Bookworm. He is the one who keeps all the manuals for the toys in Toy Story 3. 
You have uh, Janie, which I thought is from, yeah, from Toy Story 1 in Sid's Playroom. So we're kind of going out of order a little bit here. That's Janie. This is Combat Carl from Toy Story 4. Really great uh, scenes with them. Only a, a couple, but still pretty cool. Next we have uh, Mrs. Nesbitt, which is obviously Buzz Lightyear all dressed up. Maybe from, I forget, from Toy Story 1 or 2. But dressed up, I think Molly gets a hold of him at some point. Uh, Ducky, a really interesting looking toy that Sid creates in his uh, uh, laboratory of uh, uh, toys. And now we have the iconic Forky. Oh boy. Forky was interesting in Toy Story 4. I won't talk about him right now. But he was interesting, to say the least. And these two guys right here are Bunny and Ducky, played by Keel, Key and Peel. Uh, two comedians who work very well together, and uh, the dynamic between blah, 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 blah. the dynamic between these two were really cool in the movie, and obviously from Toy Story 4. The rest of these are from Toy Story 4. Miss Gabby, Gabby, right here. So uh, yeah, one of the uh, important characters of the movie is what I'll say right now. Now we have uh, Benson. And we have Frederick, which I believe are identical other than the color of bow tie. And last but not least, by any means, Duke Kaboom, a.k.a. Keanu Reeves from Toy Story 4. So, uh, eh? Canadian pride we got over here, eh? So we have uh, lots of uh, characters to choose from. Uh, I'm going to go with Emperor Zerg, because, hey, why not? So uh, I'm going to get on out of here as we look at Andy's room. Obviously, super, super iconic area for Toy Story. And uh, I'm assuming we can access all these areas uh, in the um, in the game here. I'm going to hire the volume just a smidge here. So, um, yeah, we can access as many things as they are able to access in Toy Story. So enough of being on the bed. Let's get out of here. Dive on down. Uh, I am not the biggest Toy Story fan of all time. So uh, if I miss some things or I, uh, you know, miss miss like identify some things my apologies here but uh, i'll do the best i can so uh this is obviously over here oh there's uh uh one of the sheep oh it's all three of the sheep Aww. uh they they make a joke of uh woody not remembering their names in three uh, or rather in four and i forget their names here so i'm just as guilty as woody i'm gonna go inside the toy chest and there's all sorts of crafting supplies in here for when andy is in the stu in the in his room uh, we have a wooden sword, which is a mallet, bread, apples, and whatnot. So I'll just take these for the sake of uh, staying, uh, staying healthy. And then there's a Buzz Lightyear bed that you can actually sleep in. That's pretty dope. So uh, over here, ooh, who are you? Hey, we got, uh, we got. Uh, ooh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. So uh, there's that. I'm gonna move myself back down here actually, just because it's a bit more convenient. And, uh, yeah, so that's... Oh, we're downstairs. Okay, so I kind of spoiled myself here. Oops. Uh, I'm going to go... Can I not get back up here? All right, we're back. Yeah. Okay, so that's a secret entrance for us there if we want to. Uh, I can't identify what those toys are there. If they're supposed to be specific toys. This is the Hot Wheels uh, track that launches Buzz uh, off of there. So let's uh, climb our way up here, get a different perspective. Uh, oh, can we go outside? Wow. There's multiple... Ho oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is going to be a big pack. Oh, I hope you guys and girls are ready. This is going to be... This is going to be a trip. Okay, cool. So we're not going to go out there quite yet. But there's still plenty to explore up here. Um, there's a clock right there. It looks like a giant watch. Um, let's see. Is there anything else around here? I'm wondering if RC is in this uh pack i'm assuming he is somewhere maybe he's like a uh like a modded horse or something like that i'm not quite sure oh you're from uh you're from sid's playroom and you're probably gonna attack me but okay. oh yep you are you totally are okay well excuse me excuse me well i'm glad that they implemented some other um enemies in the game well that's kind of a wow that looks terrifying I'm glad they implemented more uh, toys than just the skins that you can get in the game. So that's pretty cool. So uh, here's access to other uh, rooms here. So is there anything under Molly's crib? No, we were just under there. All right, so that's kind of it there. Unless there's a means to get all the way up here, which 
I'm assuming they kind of lay it out for us for us to be able to. Um, maybe not with that bureau right there, but maybe you know what I should do? I should just switch into creative mode just so I can like have it be a thing, and I can fly around and really give you a a, a good perspective here. We're going to F1 just so I can show everything off here. So uh, there's a chest. Oh, there's Slinky. Hi, Slinky. And that's a music disc located up here in two toys. Um, are, I'm trying to think. Is one of them supposed to be binoculars? No, probably not, right? Probably not. So I uh, got some posters over here. Space Rangers and I Want You, Space Cadet. And then Woody, obviously, right there. Uh, nothing too special. Oh, you can transport all the way down here. That's cool. And land in Molly's crib if you wanted to. Very um, appropriately sized room for... Uh, for Andy here for his room there's the Elytra that I assumed was going to be Buzz Lightyear's uh, wings here and if it wasn't I was going to be very disappointed if it wasn't but clearly it is and that looks pretty dope so if we switch over to uh, to Buzz Lightyear real quick just uh, show off what it looks like in full might as well right yeah that looks pretty dope it looks sweet so I'm going to um, activate nope that's creative mode alright hold on let me uh, let me activate the uh, actual survival mode. That way, I can fly with the Elytra properly, and uh, we'll switch back into first person mode. There's Buzz there. So, one, two, three. There we go. There we go. Yeah, look at Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay. Never mind. Well, you get the idea. You get the idea for sure. So, I'll do some uh, flying around afterward there. So I'll switch back just so you can see. Buzz Lightyear's hand. Not that it really matters, but yeah. All right, so uh, moving on foot here, because obviously toys can't fly around at will. We're going to go to the next room here, which... Oh, this is a a string that goes all the way down, like the green soldiers were uh, rappelling down to the uh, the first floor with, uh, with uh, Andy's party that one time in uh, Toy Story 1 when Buzz was introduced as a character. So, uh, we got some leather boots, chain mail, uh, not specifically uh, made for a Easter egg or anything like that, but here we go. We got more stuff up here if you really wanted to, and uh, cool, a, a mirror. I can only assume it's a mirror there. This is probably a guest bedroom, I had to guess. Um, it's n probably not the master bedroom here. That's a nice, very nice crown molding going on, fancy schmancy crown molding. All the parents out there will understand the importance of the crown molding in a uh, in a household, I guess. So uh, this is a box. What's in the box? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Bricks O'Brien, uh, with an unboxing video. Oh, never mind. A whole bunch of nothing. A whole bunch of nothing. Isn't that great? Is this the potty? There's the potty. All right, cool. Can we? You can't pause. Oh, you can jump. Okay, cool. I'm like, can you possibly go to the top of the pot? And yes, you can. You totally can, but a boom. Ooh, bow and arrows here. That's going to be helpful for defending ourselves against some enemies. Gold nuggets. And there's uh, the bathtub. Cool. And the bathtub you cannot escape from. Nope. Can't escape from there even if you wanted to. So uh, there you go. There's that. Let's uh, go down here. And uh, make our way, I guess, toward the first floor, considering those are the only three rooms upstairs. And I'm going to take the stairs down, just because, you know. Actually, you know what? Oh, you can't actually jump back up, even if you wanted to. So, I guess we are taking the stairs. So, as much as they have doors for everything that are clearly, um, you know, scaled properly, you can still go through all the doors without destroying them here. So, that's good. You can access the uh, front yard there. Now, we have the living room, where people ideally live so here's a uh, recliner very nice uh, this is bringing me back to the PlayStation 1 game of Toy Story uh, I remember playing that on the PC and on the PlayStation 1 and it was very um, very nice it was a cool game can I activate my fancy lights no the, the, the Wi-Fi isn't or it's not working okay never mind I guess I can't activate the lights I'm sorry but yeah so I, I tried to Here's a chair here. Oh, it's a bunny. Are you Mr. Peter Cottontail? You're nobody specific, I don't think. I can't tell. 
maybe you're someone specific, but I can't tell as of right now. Uh, a chair, obviously, a lamp. And if you have a bunch of people with you and made this into a like a proper map that you can explore from and make like a survival series out of or something like that, that'd be really cool. But um, it's still super cool just to explore. Uh, here, down here, ladies and gentlemen, it's a thing called a VCR. Now, a lot of you watching this were probably born during a time where you have no idea what that is. Uh, that is what I like to call old people technology. Your parents will know what that's all about as well as I know about. So I may be calling your parents old, but trust me, I'm old too. I know what a VCR is. So, uh, in here, isn't the, uh, the green army men in here? Kind of? Oh, yes, they are. Look at this. Cool, so you have to build your way up toward here unless there's, uh, yep, there are ladders over here for you. So this is where they hide out, obviously, because they're green and they're disguised in here. So that's good. Okay. Got some uh, some stuff here. That's that's good, too. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Oh, that's a walkie-talkie. Uh, it's a walkie-talkie because they communicate up to Andy's room. Ha-ha! <laughs> I understood that reference before I destroyed it. That's how they repel all the way down here. Is there anything inside of here? No, but you can climb up onto the... Uh, the end table, if you want to. Let's take a look inside the kitchen here, okay? And this is a very yellow kitchen. This is very, very 90s right here. Not that any of you know what the 90s were like. I barely know what the 90s were like. I was born in 96. But yeah, this screams just 90s galore. And why is there two doors to the kitchen and there's no refrigerator, there's no dishwasher, there's something being cut up here it looks like a jalapeno but part of the board i don't know so hey there you go here's a toaster uh don't put that anywhere near water kids just so you know here's a oven and of yeah, it's just very tacky it's very very tacky in here i don't like this is gross i'm getting out of here so this should be the garage over here uh plot twist it's a closet so i was wrong uh, i thought there's a garage at some point i'm pretty sure there is so Love how they did the coat hanger there. That's pretty sweet. And uh, I'm assuming that's just a box of stuff. What's going on, everybody? Gets your boy. Never mind. Nothing inside the box. No unboxing video this time. Uh-oh. Sorry about that. Is there a garage attached? I thought there... Um, No, there definitely is. But I guess there's no way to access it from here, it looks like. Because I don't see any there's no door here so maybe we should just uh uh leave andy's house and uh see what else i can uh explore here or rather explore at least a garage attached there is no garage i'm pretty sure there's a garage in andy's house i'm like 90 percent sure there's a garage but anyways i'll uh, go down to toy level here oh there's uh, the daycare that bonnie's at uh, the Dynaco Gas Station, which is a reference to Cars, the greatest Disney Pixar movie of all time. Don't come at me, all right? Don't come at me. It's it's fact. Here's Bullseye. Hi, Bullseye. Hi. Or just walk away. That's fine. Uh, here's a cow. Mr. Moo Moo Meadows. That's what I'm going to call him. And these are just horses. Uh, like Bullseye basically recolored to be different colors there. These are all obviously flowers. Now, if you look on our left side, you will see some uh, flowers and greenery, some uh, foliage going on over here. Never mind, JK. I'm going to fly because being a toy, it, you know, it's complicated trying to uh, walk around everywhere. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I want to get things moving. There's a lot of stuff to see here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is a dog, a grill. A fireplace. Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be. It looks like a grill. Oh, yeah, it's a grill. So it's a grill. Oh, these are coals. Okay. These must be coals for a coal fire grill. Uh, not a lot of people use coal. It's typically like a knob you turn to turn on the grill. But, uh, yeah, that's a coal grill. I prefer coal. It takes forever. Oh, there's a garage. Uh, it takes forever to cook things on coal. Uh, your your dad or mom may know how long it takes. It takes forever. Uh, here's a nice patio set out here. Wow. They must have gotten this at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. Looking very nice here. 
And uh, no windows on the back. That's kind of weird. So the garage is over here. Oh, and we're not even done with Andy's house. Oh, boy. So uh, here's the garage in here. Lots of jungadellas in here. Lots of stuff. Looks like uh, power tools. That's a, that's a screwdriver, a hammer, uh, a circular thing, uh, a crowbar, and a measuring thing. So that shows you how well I am with tools. Uh, my wife's going to love it when I'm uh, not fixing things around the house and spending too much money hiring other people to do the simple things for me. Uh, here is a toolbox, maybe. No, books. Books. Get it? Because that's a book. That's a book there. That's going to get donated to somewhere. Uh, that is a old-fashioned... No, that's a rake. That is a rake. I was going to say an old-fashioned push lawnmower, but no, not quite. Uh, I can't tell what that is. Nope, not even going to try. There's another screwdriver chilling down there that apparently glows in the dark. And uh, lots of stuff over here. So lots more junk. So we'll go into the car here. This is not the RV that uh, Bonnie has. This is the truck that obviously lots of, uh, lots of places, uh, lots of scenes happen inside of here. So uh, we'll go right into the driver's seat. Here's a, uh, the, the, you know, driving, you know, go park, drive, reverse. And a lot of you don't have, oh, no, yeah, that's pretty standard. It's not a manual transmission car, so you don't have to worry about uh, doing that. Or maybe it is. I don't know. So we'll go back here. Obviously, the back seat. Very, very tacky 90s uh, interior here. Uh, this is what uh, my mother's car looked like way back in the day. We had a turquoise neon car. If you uh, know what a neon is, yeah, they're they're not around anymore. So there's that. That is the entirety of Andy's house, and it goes over to presumably Sid's house next. So we'll uh, we'll take a look at Sid's house and kind of hopefully uh, go in order of uh, all the locations in the movie. So. I don't know what to... Oh, we're going over here. Never mind. We're not going to Sid's house. Forget about that. We're going over here to Dinoco and Pizza Planet and Al Swa... Oh, man. Oh, man. There's so much here, man. Look at all this. Uh, I'm going to go back to toy level. All right. Toy level. Here we go. This is Dinoco, the gas station, legendary gas station from uh, the Cars franchise. Well, technically, it was in um, Toy Story first, I believe. They called it Dinoco, but then... Um, Cars took it, and then, uh, yeah, that's where I remember it from. So uh, there's that. Going to fly just a little bit around here. I'm so excited to go on Pizza Planet, guys. You have no idea. All right, so here is the uh, famous truck from Toy Story that, um, what are you supposed to be? Oh, something from uh, the planet of uh, Emperor Zerg, presumably. I'm just going to destroy you real quick. There we go. Um, love this car. I love the design of the car. A super iconic car for the series and uh one that i wish they have a lego model of it but oh there's a drink oh that's a good way of doing a drink um it's just very expensive it's such a cool looking vehicle you know like you have the ecto-1 the delorean then you got uh, the plant pizza planet car just makes sense here what are you supposed to be another a t-bone steak robot okay sure